This video will show a quick way to create a tetrahedron and then later on a Rouleau tetrahedron in IronCAD. First I'll drop a polygon into the scene, drill down to the IntelliShape level, select variables. We're going to make this a triangle. And since this works off the inscribed circle, we're going to take 50 millimeters and it's already in formula mode and divide that times the sine of 60 which is 0 0.866025. Now what you can do go up here to annotation measurement we just want to verify that the leg of one of these triangles is 50 millimeters and it is. Click off our measurement now there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can actually uh, subtract an H block and f calculate the, the dihedral of the, of the angles, which in this case is going to be minus 19.471220 per Wikipedia <coughs> when they look at the uh, angle between this surface and that surface. Or we can do it the simple way. Go to Feature right here, select Draft Faces, pick the bottom, pick the sides, and we'll type in minus 19.471220. It didn't work. So we'll edit the option. There you go. One tetrahedron. If you want to come and check this, click on measurement, angular, pick on the side, pick on the bottom, and you'll notice it's 70.5288 which is exactly what the textbook says it's supposed to be. So that's your tetrahedron. Now let's say you want to create a Rouleau tetrahedron. With 50 millimeters on the side here we can use four spheres of 100 millimeters in diameter and what we can do is we can put one on each corner right here and then do a boolean and subtract it. But the way we need to do that first is we're going to do a quick sketch. We're going to pick this side right here. And we don't have to draw anything. We're just going to do a projection. Click on Finish. Then we're going to do another 2D sketch. Click right here. Say OK. Do another projection. And now we've got some geometry to perch this on. I'm going to briefly turn off the uh, tetrahedron and you'll see we've got a piece of geometry there. So I'm going to click over here and we'll grab a sphere and drop a sphere on every point. We'll change the sides or the sizes here in a minute. Now we've got our four spheres here. We're going to set these to 100 millimeters. Now you see we've got a pretty good bulbous mess. So what we'll do is we'll go over here to the scene browser and we'll select all four of these. Go back to our feature menu, click on Boolean, intersect, say OK. That's it. That's how you make the uh, Rouleau tetrahedron in IronCAD. You don't have to draw anything, no sketching. You don't have to be a, uh, a cartographer of any, any uh, great note. And um, generally speaking, you can do this with any size uh, tetrahedron 
or Rouleau tetrahedron that you want. It's just that easy to do it inside of IronCAD. In the next video I'll show you how to, to divide this into uh, sections so you can 3D print it and put it together with a uh, center crutch that uses a set of ball locks so it just snaps together.